everyone, Phil from Tech for Tech here. Today we're going to be looking at this card reader. It's a frame one card reader from Sandberg. And what makes it different is that you can connect it up to multiple different devices. So you can connect it up to your traditional laptop or PC with its traditional USB A socket. You've also got a micro USB socket to connect up to a lot of phones and tablets. And on top of that, it's got the new USB C connection as well. So you can basically uh, get your SD card from any device. Um, plug it into this card reader and then basically connect that up to pretty much most devices on the market and you'll be able to access it. Here's a quick message from our sponsor. Okay then guys, we've got this Sandberg basically 3-in-1 card reader which has got USB-A, USB-C and a micro USB connections on it. So you can basically connect it from pretty much most devices you want. Uh, so it's a pretty clever card reader that can be connected to a mobile, tablet, laptop or PC regardless of whatever, the uh, if it has a traditional USB-A, micro USB or USB-C port reads and writes to SDs, micro SD cards, it's made of aluminium and apparently it's a handy size and it works at optimum speeds. So let's have a quick look at the packaging. So as you can see on here, it says Sandberg, uh, you've got five year warranty, you can see the device, it looks like uh, it's got two caps on the ends with the adapters for the different USBs inside and then your cards plug into the card reader in the centre. Um, as you can see there, it says free one card reader for USB-A, USB-C, micro USB, blah blah blah. Um, instant memory card access, basically it says. So it's uh, got double quality check and all this, that and the other. So that's pretty much the box. It's got a hanger on it. It's blue with black and the picture of the products. Not a bad looking box. The product itself is sort of like in a gloss. So it actually um, stands out pretty well. Back you've got all your different languages, but otherwise it's pretty much pretty standard uh, packaging. So, there you go. Okay, let's open this up then. So, take a second, here we go. Okay, so what do we have in the box? Okay, as we've seen with other Sandberg products, you have got a Bullguard free device 90 day trial so you've got some extra security which is not bad for um, for three months um, otherwise all you've got inside there is the device itself bit strange it's not held in it just bumps around inside the box which um, I'm pretty sure it's pretty sturdy and it's capable of doing that but usually you used to see in packaging usually tied or shrink wrapped into the packaging so it doesn't go like that um, so Initial looks, yeah, it's got that aluminium style all along. I'd say the actual ends it says aluminium, but it feels more like plastic in all honesty. And you can see the difference of the sheen in the uh, two parts. But you've got the two caps on there, they pop off. You've got your card reader connections there, so micro SD and standard SD. You've got your USB C connection there, and then on this side you've got your standard USB-A or what you'd connect to a laptop or a PC and from what the box shows I'm guessing this flips over somehow but um, apparently it does it doesn't actually say how so ah okay you pull up from between the connections and it pops out and then shows the micro USB uh, socket so you can then plug that into whatever device you wish so as you can see it's pretty straightforward it is a bit tight to get that connection out it would be nice to have some sort of button or lever which would easily eject it but it is there uh, and easy to access if needs be Okay, so the packaging itself, including the hanger, is about 14 centimetres high or just over 11 without the hanger. Uh, width is a fraction over 8 centimetres wide. Uh, and the depth, I'm guessing that's going to be about 2. 
a fraction over two centimeters wide there as well. So let's have a look at the device itself with the caps on. So it's roughly about, I'd say, 6.8 uh, centimeters wide, so 68 millimeters. Uh, so wide or length, depending on what you're going to call it. Um, the actual width there is just a fraction over two, so I'd say 2.2 centimeters. There we go, and the actual height of it is just over a centimetre, so I'd say 1.1 or 1.2 centimetres there. Uh, the caps on the end do come off fairly easily, um, doesn't alter much in the um, the size to be honest with you. Uh, it takes it down uh, from around about 6.8 uh, centimetres down to roughly 6.2 or 6.3. Um, but otherwise it's quite compact and uh, it should be pretty easy to use. Actual test speeds of the device actually performed extremely well as you would expect. Um, a 285 megabytes Transcend card we've got um, actually ran at around about 260 megabytes per second which is actually the same speed as our internal card reader built on the laptop as well as the one we've got on our main desktop PC so speed wise didn't see any issues and I think it's more limited down to the actual uh, memory cards you're going to be using in conclusion, this is a great sized tool. It's useful for people that do call outs or need to be on site and move around a bit. Our camera bags are heavy and the last thing we need is another oversized gadget with loads of wires everywhere. Um, what you have to connect up and then use another converter or connector to fit it with something else. This thing does everything all in one and it's the size of a USB memory stick. I think the access to the micro USB connection is poorly designed um, and I think when they release a new version of this you should rectify that with either some sort of button or switch where you can easily open from the uh, A connector to the micro connector so you can easily connect it up with something it needed a little bit of force and I could see it easily being damaged would also have been nice to have a few little instructions even if it was just on the box of how to actually get to the micro connection because in basics you just have to look at the box and go oh look that bit opens there or you must pull it somehow um, there's no direct instructions another little thing which i thought was slightly annoying uh, no matter what product you get in, um, is the packaging is it looked brilliant from the outside, but the actual item is rattling around inside the box. Even though it's sturdy, it can't do it much good. It must weaken the lid uh, on the caps somewhat. One of the caps on the device was a slightly loose, so um, when you push it back on, it does pop off quite easily. So the standout point of this is basically the size and no cables that you need to worry about. It's basically everything's in one and you can connect it up to multiple different devices. With it. The positives. Basics, the main positive is the USB-A, the USB-C and the micro USB connection all in one. And it can also be used for both standard SD and micro SD cards. It travels well, so obviously it's the size of a memory stick. As long as those caps stay on, which uh, seemed a, one of them seemed a little bit not right fitting, it would pop off quite easy. Uh, and the other positive was you have no cables to worry about. Unfortunately, the device has as many cons as it does positives. Um, the cons are it's not very well packaged. And to be honest, what's the point of having packaging if it's just going to bump around everywhere? You might as well just have it in a loose plastic bag. Um, so please tie it down or something in that packaging. Uh, also, no instructions to get to that micro USB socket. So it's a bit of a hard to get at. There should be some sort of release button on it or something along that lines. Um, the caps felt more plasticky than they were aluminium. Um, I think it was plastic coated with aluminium and they just didn't have that weight or real feel that they were actually aluminium. But again, that might be one down to one person will say one thing, one will say another. Um, and uh, as I said, when um, you take the caps off, they are easy to lose. Um, as in, there's nothing what attaches them to the device. There's like no um, cap holder or, for example, on some USB pens, you can take the lid off and push it on the other end. Um, or you have some sort of uh, rubber ring or something like that, what actually keeps it attached to the actual device. Whereas this, 
unless you, you haven't got anything so it could be potentially easy to lose the caps especially when I found one of them would actually pop off with the slightest push but saying that, it was an extremely good product. Well, obviously, it saves you lots of space, lots of time messing around, no need for loads of cables. It just basically plugs into pretty much any device you want it to. Um, with that in mind, we're going to give this the Silver Award. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Don't forget to press the subscribe button over here. That way you'll get all the latest news and all the reviews we do on a weekly basis. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.